already, yes. Well, I thought I'd have a quick dip in the sea. What, before breakfast? Yeah, I find it uh, wets the appetite. You should try it. Try it? I can only swim a few strokes. Do you want me to drown? No, you wouldn't. The sea's buoyant. You'd float. I don't float, David. My bathing hat fills with water and I sink like a stone. <laughs> you wouldn't look. The more salt, the more buoyancy. Like the Dead Sea. Ask Linda. She's been in the Dead Sea. Oh, do you mean she hasn't always looked like that? <laughs> look, if you want an early morning swim, why don't you go in the pool? Oh, it's not the same. Do you know, love, I remember the very first time I went in the sea. It had barbed wire in it. In the waves. That was during the war. I've half expected to find barbed wire in the waves ever since. What made you say that? Don't know. It just came to me. My God, David, that's really Freudian. No, it wasn't. Barbed wire in the waves? That's really weird. All I'm saying is that I find the sea here more warm and inviting. Is that why you went for the midnight swim? Yeah. Oh, the sea was like warm red wine last night, though. You didn't drink any of it, did you? <laughs> why? Well, you were gone for such a long time. What uh, time did you get back? Must have been very late. I was asleep. Oh, about uh, one o'clock, then. It was 2.45. <laughs> Where did you swim to? Gibraltar? <laughs> I, uh, I didn't realise it was so late. Uh, did Linda go for the midnight swim? Linda? Uh, yes, yes, she, she did, as a matter of fact. I see. So the sea's not the only thing you find warm and inviting. No, look, we only ran into the sea and ran out again. It was perfectly harmless. Perfectly harmless? You've just described a scene out of From Here to Eternity. And if it was perfectly harmless, why did you grind your teeth all night? I didn't. All night, grinding away. I'm surprised you're not down to the gums this morning. <laughs> and you talked in your sleep. Did I? What did I say? You said something very revealing. What was it? You said, have a sausage. <laughs> have a sausage? Well, what's revealing about that? You ask a psychiatrist what's revealing about a sausage. <laughs> it's a well-known phallic symbol. Oh, not Freud again. Look, I wish you'd stop analysing me. It's true, David. When a man reaches your age, he surrounds himself with phallic symbols. Your car is probably a phallic symbol. My car? Amy, it's got rust spots. <laughs> Just behind you. Where? The Swiss cheese plant to your uh, left. Oh, yes. No, no, don't stare. What's the matter? Amy's suspicious. About last night? Yes, we've got to be careful. You don't regret it, do you, Dave? Oh, no. Was it, was it really wrong, then? Oh, how can anything say right be wrong? Right. I want to shout it from the rooftops. Not now. Amy's still in the building. <laughs> Listen, this, this is what I want you to do. Walk straight to the lift and don't look round. When you get there, hold it on the bottom and I'll join you in a moment. You've got to talk, Linda, and you've got so little time. Now, off you go. Ah, I was uh, just admiring the, the plant. I never realised they grew, grew so, so tall. It's a magnificent specimen. It must be the climate. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. What are we going to do? Oh, we must be discreet. Of course. Nobody must get hurt. We mustn't do anything to arouse suspicion. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. I feel as if I'm being watched all the time. So do I. Like Robert suspects. What? He's been acting in a very strange manner. In what way? When I got back last night, he was inside the wardrobe. Was he? Does he do that often? No, he's never done it before. Mind you, he had been drinking. Well, perhaps he thought it was the left. Still, we must be careful. Oh, David, what can we do? We're being swept along by something bigger than both of us. Well, I know that he's bigger than both of us, Linda, but uh, so is Robert. And when I said I didn't want anybody to get hurt, I was also including myself in that. We mustn't give any sign, any indication of our feeling. We, we must ignore each other, even even flirt with somebody else if necessary. Oh, I don't think I could bear that, David. <laughs> I didn't say it would be easy, Linda. The important thing is, how do we meet? Oh, now, I thought of that. I'll put a coloured towel on the balcony. A blue towel means you can come up. Mm. A yellow towel means I'll be down by the pool. And a green towel means I'll be on the beach. Now, can you remember that? Yeah, I've got a red towel, I think. 
Why do we want a red tongue? Danger. We don't need a tongue for danger. You don't know Amy. Oh, now, David, please concentrate. Pay attention. Now, a blue towel means you can come up. I'll put a do not disturb sign on the door. Do not disturb. Do I come in? Of course you come in. Now, remember, discretion. Not a word or a sound. Right. Nothing to give it away. Enjoy your swim last night, Linda. What? Last night? Oh, yes, yes. I like a swim at night. It helps me sleep. Well, it's more than can be said for David. He was tossing and turning and gnashing his teeth all night. But then he never sleeps very well. Why not? Because of the dreams. Does he dream? All the time, Linda. Terrible dreams. There are nights when he hardly dare close his eyes. What sort of dreams does he have? Well, you name it, he dreams about it. For instance, there's the uh, ice cream dream. What's that? Well, um, he dreams he's carrying this ice cream cornet and he wants to give it to this beautiful girl. Only she's a very long way away and it's a very hot day. So he starts running towards her, but the further he runs, the further away she gets. Still he keeps running, still the sun beats down. And when he finally reaches her, he looks down and he finds his cornet's melted. <laughs> now, I don't really know the meaning behind that. I know that his psychiatrist has explained it to him. Is David under a psychiatrist? Constantly. He has to have his dreams analysed at regular intervals. What did he dream about last night? Oh, last night. That was the barbed wire dream. What's that? Yes, it occurs very frequently. He dreams that he's walking into a warm and inviting sea only to find this barbed wire in the waves. Barbed wire? How oh. awful. What does it mean? What does it mean? Well, it's the steel blade beneath the damask silk, Linda. It's picking the rose and grasping the thorn. It's the age-old struggle between desire and guilt. And at the moment, I think desire's leading by a short head. <laughs> That's why he sleeps so badly. You see, he wants to dive into something warm and inviting, but he fears the consequences. Consequences? Yes, I think you could say that I'm the barbed wire. Oh, look, there's Francois. Who's Francois? The Frenchman I met last night, terribly gallant. <laughs> Bonjour, Francois. Uh, pardon, madame. <laughs> Please, Francois, Linda. <laughs> ah, oui, oui, oui. Oh, chanté. Mm. Linda. Uh, yeah. Did you see that? What? That fellow just kissed Linda's hand. Which one? The left, I think. No, <laughs> no. I mean, who was it? No, oh, some damn frog eater, I imagine. They can't see a woman's hand without diving on it like a bird of prey. Well, I shouldn't worry about it, Robert. The French are like that. She was very late last night. Midnight swim with someone. Mind you, I would keep your eye on him. Uh, you never know. You were there, weren't you? Where? Swimming. Uh, yes, yes, I was there, uh, swimming. Did you see anything? No. Nothing at all? No, well, you see, I was with... I was with the... I was with this, uh, Fraulein, Robert. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Robert, we're on holiday, we're abroad. Things are different out here. They certainly are. Oh, I think it's the heat. Everything deteriorates. Do you know your sunglasses are cracked? Uh, yes, I, uh, I sat on them. Mm. What time did you get back last night, David? About one o'clock. And you didn't notice any jiggery-pokery? No, no, <laughs> jiggery-pokery. Well, not after I left. What? Um, hey, what about that one? What about that one? Danish. Very nice. Steady on, David. Not bad, not bad at all. What about a bit of Danish pastry, Robert, eh? David, aren't you forgetting Amy? Not yet, but I'm trying. Now, come on, Robert, look, we're abroad. Don't let's lose the opportunity. Let's promote international understanding. Look at those two over there. Should we, should we chat them up? Certainly not. I bet you've thought about it, though. I've seen you looking over the top of your Financial Times at them, you rogue. Robert, don't you ever feel like letting your braces dangle and running barefoot across the sand? <laughs> no, I don't. All right, all right. What about this one, then? What about this one? German. <gasps> what a darling. Sprechen Sie English? This is the one for me. If I'm not back in three days, give me up for lost. <laughs> Would you uh, like a drink, my little apple strudel? You really... Sie beleidigen meine Frau, haben Sie keine Achtung? You soll sie anmelden. Komm doch. What's the matter then? What's he going on about? Zimmerman. Ooh, Zimmerman? Ex-Hitler youth, parachuted in last week, probably here to form a panzer division. <laughs> David, 
steer clear of that one. Dueling scars all over him. Only got to hear a brass band, he'd be ready to march on Czechoslovakia. <laughs> what are you so angry about? You were chatting up his wife. <laughs> It's first-class workmanship. <laughs> no, no. Oh, those Spaniards, they really know how to make a wardrobe. <laughs> no nails. Not even inside. No, you see, I'm just seeing how it's, um, put together. Why did you shut the door? That's another thing. The door fits perfectly. Robert, don't talk nonsense. You were hiding in there. No. Well, yes, in a way. But, darling, I, I, you see, I didn't want to worry you. Uh, there's, there's been some pilfering going on, and I spotted this very unsavoury character in the corridor, and he was behaving very suspiciously. Robert, so, what? why do you suspect everything foreign? I don't. Yes, you do. Remember Moscow? You swore the room was bugged, rolled back the carpet, undid that bolt on the floor, and the chandelier fell down in the room below. <laughs> Can't be too careful, darling. Only simply that I don't... That's wet. I don't trust the characters out here. I mean, it's not their fault. It's probably the climate. Everything goes off. But, I mean, David, oh, he's losing all restraint. What do you mean? Should have seen him this morning, chasing every woman in sight. No, no, he's in a state of complete disintegration. Even his sunglasses are cracked. Robert, I thought you were going to golf. What? Yes, I am. Well, I'm going to take a shower. Right, I'll lock the door when I go. You can't be too careful. Now, darling, have you seen... She's gone. My putter, anywhere, my putter. Oh. <laughs> Would you like me to scrub your back, you beautiful creature? <laughs> Sensational. I wish I was the loafer. Oh, let me turn into a loafer. <laughs> Hello, Robert. I, I, I was uh, I was looking for you. C could I borrow your potter? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Yellow for the pool, green for the beach. No, 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 it isn't. It, it's green to come up, yellow for the beach. Blue for the pool, yellow for the beach, green to come up. Well, of course it is. That's right, it's logical. Linda's not logical. It's <laughs> yellow for the pool, blue for the beach. No, no, no. Green for the beach, blue to go up. That's right, blue to go up, blue to go up. Uh, green for the beach, yellow for the pool. My God, it's like wiring a plug. <laughs> yellow for the pool, green for the beach, blue to go up. Do not disturb. Yellow for the pool, green for the beach. Blue to go up, don't it disturb? What's the matter, Yellow... David? What? You were talking to yourself. Was I? David, I'm getting worried about you. First of all, you're talking in your sleep, and now you're talking to yourself in broad daylight. Where's it going to lead, David? Where's it going to end? You're not disturbed in some way, are you? No. Nothing on your mind? No, of course not. Uh, I think I'll just go and find Robert, love, and uh, have a drink. I think I'd stay well clear of Robert if I were you. What do you mean? Well, he's changed. Changed? What way? He looks... Angry. Angry? Yes, I've just seen him. He keeps driving his fist into his palm like this. <laughs> he looks to me like a man who's had a severe shock. He looks to me like a man with a problem. Does he? I wonder what it's about. I think it could be something to do with Linda. Linda? Oh, now, now, look at that woman down there. Look at those lovely long brown legs, that figure, that walk. Now, that's what I call, oh, a really attractive woman. David, why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep staring at these girls all the time? I'm an attractive woman. I've got legs. <laughs> and I can walk just as well as she can. Well, of course you can, love. There was a time when you looked at me like that, David. Do you remember our honeymoon in Brighton when you broke the leg off the bed? <laughs> Different now, aren't you? I was just admiring a pretty woman. Well, admire me. I do admire you. No, you don't. 
It's have you darned my socks, Amy? Have you ironed my shirts, Amy? The guilt's certainly rubbed off the gingerbread, hasn't it, David? I'm going to the bar, love. Well, don't forget, it's yellow for the pool, green for the beach, and blue to go up. Linda. Yes, David. Behind the plant. Yes, David. Now, Linda, I just want to confirm. Now, it's blue for the pool, uh, yellow for the beach, green to come up. Have we changed it? Of course we haven't changed it. It's blue to come up, yellow for the pool, and green for the beach. It's simple. Well, I was just having a little trouble remembering, that's all. Yes, I'm not surprised. It's all those girls you've been chasing. Well, I was only trying to draw attention from you, Linda. Yes, well, you're going to have too much of a good thing, you know. Now, just watch the balcony and remember what I said. Right, well, let's get it right. Green for the beach, <laughs> yellow for the pool, blue for the David. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh. Just watching the girls go by, I bet. Oh, look at that one over there. <laughs> Very tasty. Yes, we've had enough of that sort of thing, David. Have we? Yes. It leads to trouble on holiday. People tend to lose their heads and do things they regret. Did I mention to you that Linda is seeing someone? No. Well, <laughs> yes, uh, in a way. Yes. Well, I know who it is. <laughs> I've had my suspicions for some time. Now they've been confirmed. Have they? Well, look, Robert, I, th I think I, I can explain. It's the Frenchman. <laughs> it is? And if I catch the blighter, he's going to get it. Oh, I should say so, Robert. Oh, you can't trust the French. Right, I never trusted to go. <laughs> you know, no? That's why I'm keeping watch. Good for you. Now, there may be trouble. He has friends. I could need you, David. Well, you can, uh, you can depend on me, Robert. I'll be standing by. Good man. Working. Do you mind if I use yours? Oh, well, yes, I suppose so. Excuse me. <laughs> Why don't you use this towel? It's nice and dry. Thank you. Where's David? I've no idea. I expect he's in the bar chatting up those girls again. What? I'm afraid it's all starting again. What is? Well, first it's the dreams, and then he gets this wild look in his eye like he's heard the call of the sea. And then he's off. Off? Off where? Other women. What? Oh, it's a cross I have to bear, Linda, but I think it's getting worse. Until recently, he was content with the British Isles. But now, it seems like he's trying to enter Europe. <laughs> I only hope he doesn't tell them he loves them. Does he do that a lot? Yes. The trouble is, he can't form a lasting relationship. He's unfaithful even when he's being unfaithful. Yes, but I think I'll leave you to have your shower. Yes, of course. I'm sorry I shouldn't burden you with my problems, but it's not been easy. Oh, and Linda, if you see David, will you have a word with him? He always responds to the older woman. <laughs> Yes. Well, I was only thinking about it. Don't be not bother. Yeah. Where's Linda? Um, I think she's gone down to the bar. Right. Better get down there. But, Robert, you're all wet. Never mind. Soon dry off. Thank you. 
you a towel, you ravishing creature. Please. Now, I shan't look. Mind you, it's a terrible temptation. It's more than flesh and blood can stand if I wasn't a man of iron self-control. I'm not sure there's enough room. If, if you insist, my dear. Mary. David. Darling, I... Oh, ooh. Oh. Dear David. What, love? Nothing. Just dear David. Under where uh, Robert and Linda have got to. Who cares, as long as we've got each other. <laughs> yes. I never knew you could be so unconventional. And that's just what our marriage needs, to put the excitement back in it. I think our marriage is exciting enough. Look, did you have to switch that shower on? I thought we needed more excitement, more danger. Danger? How did you know where to find me? What? Well, how did you know it was me in there? Was it my perfume? Uh, yes, that's right, love. It was your uh, perfume. I see. So it wafted all the way down the stairs, and you followed it all the way back like a little bisto kid. <laughs> Well, it wasn't, it wasn't just your perfume. Did Linda tell you where I was? That's right, love. Uh, Linda, tell me. What's the matter, David? You look worried. You see that bloke over there in that, uh, in that <coughs> shirt? Now, would you say that shirt was yellow? Yes. Well, it's probably more orange than yellow, really. And that bloke over there lying down, is his shirt green? Turquoise. Oh. David, what is the matter? I think I'm going colourblind. <laughs> Now, what about that towel up there on the balcony? Is that blue? Oh, yes. That's definitely blue. It's not purple, turquoise, aquamarine. No, it's definitely blue. Mm. Well, I think I'll get myself an ice cream. <laughs> oh, would you get me one? You don't like ice cream. I know. It's funny, isn't it? I just feel like one. Right. <laughs> Would you like a cornet? <laughs> Quick, before they melt. Wake up, Linda. David's here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> God damn him! I'm sorry, uh, wrong room, not Sir uh, Einzweig dry, Einzweig fump. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, 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 I'